everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We are taking a look at the biggest and baddest and the best Super C motorhome in the entire RV industry. This is the 2023 Integra Coach Accolade XL Model 37K. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the XL and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at the beautiful, not an Accolade, but an Accolade XL. Super excited to show everybody before I begin. Gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going today? It's going good, Matt. This paint job is gorgeous. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know if you even noticed this, but did you notice on the paint job up there where the blue and the black come together? Yeah. Look how it like kind of fades. Yes, like the ghost thing, Isn't Andrea. Isn't that pretty? This is my favorite super scene on planet Earth. Why I'm really am I not surprised? I'm really excited to show everybody and Make sure you guys stay towards the end. We actually have a really big surprise announcement that's gonna be uh, announced in this video. You ready, Andrea? I'm ready. Let's begin. Model is Integra Accolade 37K. The actual tip tip length is 39 feet, four inches. This is the Accolade. It sits on the Freightliner S2 RV chassis. It has the Cummins ISB 6.7 liter diesel, 360 horsepower, and 800 pound-feet of torque. Andrea, this is an awesome, badass motorhome, America. Now check it out. You can get a bigger Freightliner chassis. It's called an M2 chassis on some other brands. That's going to be a lot more expensive, and that's going to be able to tow more. But see, what I love about the S2 RV chassis is you're still able to tow 12,000 pounds comfortably. You're not gonna have any issues. It is a little bit of a smaller chassis, a little bit of a lighter chassis in Andrea. What I really like about it is how much it slopes. You know what I'm saying? When you have that bigger chassis, Andrea, it's sitting up about this high, and I know it doesn't seem like it's much different. Oh, it looks like a difference. But you gotta remember, I mean, you're going to campgrounds in this thing. Right. You know, you gotta be careful. There's gonna be kids running around everywhere. Love the headlight design. I love the uh, chrome everywhere. Let's pop this hood. Before we pop the hood, look at these tires draining in the Michelins. I love those. 275-80R, 22.5 with the shiny AccuRide rims. Andrea, you know this has air ride suspension. So not only is this powerful and it's mean, but it's also gonna be a phenomenal ride. I love that. Cummins right here, Allison transmission, 800 pound-feet of torque. Andrea, it's made in America. This is awesome. Not only that, something that's really good that I love about the Freightliners, they make servicing this engine really easy and customer friendly. Everything's right here so you're able to check on your oils and your fluids and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And this hood is just real easy to open and close. Right up front here, Andre, we do have a very nice bunk over the cap. It's a seamless fiberglass front cap. What that means, Andre, is the seam's actually right underneath there. And um, so it's not in the vulnerable spot. Not only that, Andre, we have an awesome bunk over the cab windshield. All right. Wow, I gotta say, it's just incredible, the paint job. Right, so this is the paint job for the XL, okay? That's why it's so... So the Accolade's still gonna have an awesome paint job, but it's not gonna be this, right. this graphic, you know what I'm saying? And not only that, the Accolade XL, this doesn't have any propane. So Miss Jen, bing! Please put all the specs about this motorhome right up here. This one's the all electric one. Nice, uh, nice uh, mirrors right here. Andrea, we locked the door. It's okay, we'll show you on the other side. Right here we do have side cameras. Very, very nice. When you come on down, you do have frameless windows throughout this whole motorhome. Andrea did point out the ghosting from the blue to the black. Also, Andrea, look at the armless awning with wind sensor, how they just continue the paint job there. It's beautiful and fantastic. Coming on down, we do have a very nice Samsung TV and speakers on the outside. Chrome handles, Andrea, 
look at this awesome storage. The storage with the carpet, you mean? Fan I mean, don't don't worry about that. It's fantastic storage. We will touch on the carpet in just a bit. All right. Finishing up, Andrea. I love these slam latch doors. Nice chrome handles here and a little bit more storage there. Very nice, Andrea. This is a storage machine. Right over here, we got a little bit more storage. And then here, we have more okay. storage. See, I wish all the storage was like that. Right there, you got your pull valves. And then here, just a little bit more storage. You know why, Andrea? You can never have enough. No, 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 never, never, never. Right here, we do have a nice fiberglass rear cap. Coming around the back, Andrea, 12,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 12,000 pounds again. Obviously, make sure you don't load up your motorhome too much before you tow that much. Always know. Before you tow. Yes, ma'am. Backup camera there, and there is a ladder to get up on the one-piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. All right. Here we go. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece fiberglass roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Solar panel on the roof right there. Weingart digital antenna. Dometic fans and everything, and I love the awning, and I love this side. It makes it so you can't really see what's going on up on the roof, and it's just a nice, high-end, streamlined look. Here we go now. All right, two steps. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking this fat ass up on the roof of an Accolade? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. This way. Finishing up. Right over here. Hydronic 250D heating system. Onan diesel 8000 generator. Cummins. Right over here. That's where you fill up your nice. diesel fuel. Right over here's your wet bay. You do have a macerator toilet. Also gravity right there, outdoor shower. Here's your hookup, paper towel holder, water filtration system, everything you want. And a wet bay. Beautiful wet bay. Not only that, Andre, here's something else that I love. 50 amp power cord on an electric reel. Wow. Retractable. Love that feature. Love, love, love. More storage. Other side. Yes, ma'am. And other side. And then you got some battery bank. Big old battery bank. On the right tray. Yes, ma'am. And then over here, just to show everybody, right? Here's how you climb in and out of this awesome America uh, motorhome. It is America. Just climb on in. Andrea, we're trucking. The outside of this motorhome looks great, but I'll see you on the inside. Come on, take a look. All right, let's see. Cargo carrying capacity is, wow, 5,638 pounds. Andrea? Yes. Before you show everybody the inside, I need to take a, I need to make an announcement. So if you don't mind coming up here. Before Andrea shows you guys the inside, Andrea, why does somebody want a Super C? This is why. USA. Big old chassis, Cummins engine, Freightliner you're driving. In the second that Nancy Joe cuts you off, all you do is pull the air! It. Show everybody the inside, Andrea. Right. Put the slide outs in. Okay, so here's the walkway. It is a little tight right here. Let's see, but doable. And then, of course, it opens up a lot right here. You can definitely open the fridge. Let's see here. We've got a half bath, I believe. Yes. And there is the master bedroom, and you can see it is a tilt a bed. And then there is a bathroom in the back. All right. All right, Andrea, while we get these slide outs out, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of this episode. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. 
Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV life. So first, discover. Research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular trip planner. That software is amazing. It's going to tell you the best routes, and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven-day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven-day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Andrea, while you see these slide outs out, you can see this band for fantastic. Definitely, it's easy to see why this is one of my favorite motorhomes and my favorite super seat. And what I'm gonna do is, since I've already got to pull the air horn, Andrea, why don't you sit in the cockpit seat just to show everybody that this, even though this is big and even though this is bad, this is not an intimidating drive. Okay. You don't have to ask me twice. Yes, ma'am. Right. Tell us what we got going on up here. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. You guys, I got all kinds of gadgets over here. Um, I'm not going to pretend I know everything. You got adjustable mirrors. That's how you adjust your mirrors. You have your switches right there. Here's your Allison transmission. Here's where you do your exhaust brake and your uh, power windows, your auto leveling here, air conditioning control. Right here it shows Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. But Andrea, I want to know, how's the seat feel? The seat is very comfortable. It is power. You can go up and down. I also have to say, because of this chassis, yes. even if I drove this, I wouldn't be intimidated because of it being lower right The here. S2 RV chassis, yeah. again, it's a really nice slope. Again, it it's like it's like this, and the M2 would be a lot higher. Yes, yeah. and again, you know, most people listen. If you got to tow twenty thousand pounds, you need you need that M2. But most people, they're not towing that type of type of material with them. You know. So you got some little a uh, little bit of storage up here for like yep. sunglasses and maps and stuff. But I gotta say, this is really comfortable. Every time I get in one of these, I just want to hit the road. Heck yeah, Andre and go. Oh, Sorry. do it again! Do it again! America. <laughs> And then over here in the passenger seat, Andre, you can see everybody has tons of leg space here, cup holders. Everything that you need right here is very, very nice. And then coming on up, we do have a very nice bunk over the cab, Andrea. Now, for those of you who don't know, this bunk over the cab actually holds 750 pounds. Not only that, Andrea, we have an awesome front windshield. Look at this. When it raises up, it is fantastic. You got cup holders, power, and USBs on both sides. And just so everybody knows, this actually does fill in like this, okay? And you do have that protective netting that goes right here if you need it to prevent the kids that you do love from uh, rolling off the bed. It's a nice big bed though. It really, really is. And it does have a privacy curtain there, as yes. you can see. Yes. And then Matt, behind you, right there is your panel. Yep, here's your uh, control panel, master lights, air conditioning, generator, uh, slide outs, everything that and you need like right there. there's like a little cabinet right here. Let me Very open good. this real quick. A little like, place to hang in your sweaters or jackets. Not only that, Andre, I do want to mention at this door, they actually have a privacy oh, shade yeah, at the door. Oh yeah, I didn't door. even notice that. So many times they do forget that or if they just don't even add one at all. Over here in the living room area, Andrea, I see some new balances. So first, brown cabinetry. Brown is the worst color you can put in an RV, but Andrea, is that not a beautiful shade of brown? Um, yeah, I mean, it's like the same shade, I think, that they always use. No, no, we were in a unit the other day. No, no I mean that Integra. Had, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is Integra just does, it's a nice gloss brown. It looks very, very nice. Here's what is different, these balances. These balances are new and they're different. Andrea. Approved, bing! Oh, Andrea loves these balances. They're very cute. Nice. 
And then over here, Andrea? That's a low dinette, right? It is a low dinette, yes. It's fine for somebody like me, but if you are taller, you might want to consider that. You do have cup holders here. Andrea, this dinette does drop down to make a bed. And let's see if there's storage underneath this dinette. Of course there is. With piano hinges. Yes, nice. ma'am. And for those of you who don't know, Integra Coach did incorporate the piano hinges for 2023 because of us. And I don't mean Matt and Andrea. I mean the RV review crew always commenting. And guess what, Andrea? Integra they listened. Integra listened. We do have a carpet slide out. Womp womp. You oh, know how we feel. Oh, car seat tether. Yes, car seat tether right there. And then over here, Miss Andrea, we do have a lot more storage above here. Very nice. And you can feel it, Andrea. This is sturdy, you know? This is what you want to feel when you're spending this type of money in a motorhome. Not only that, you have my favorite theater sofa seat. So this one actually reclines out too. It is manual. And then on both sides, it is power. And check this out. Oh no. Never mind. That does not come down. But again, all three recline. Me, Andrea, and my unit could sit right here. And we're hanging out, watching the TV, looking directly across at it. Let's take a look. Right over here little bit of storage above. Again, good cabinetry. Look at these nice hinges here with the supports, very nice. Insignia TV right here, sound system here. Nice backsplash, look at the like woven tile. Mm -hmm. I'm Looks loving like it. a basket or something. Yes, right here. Here's where you're able to have your DVD player and all that good stuff. How the heck does that open? Come on. There you go. Oh, it's a magnet. Yeah, that's a strong magnet. And then right here, Andrea, is a very nice Furion fireplace. What is nice about that fireplace is it does produce heat from electricity. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. You ready for this? I'm ready. MSRP on this motorhome here is $374,723. Andrea, that is MSRP. Sale price, even though we sell accolades extremely fast, we still have it 27% off. That's a discount of $100,000 to a sale price of $274,995. Andrea, that is a phenomenal price. But, didn't I say this is my favorite Super C of all did. time? And Andrea, do you think we do the bare minimum when it comes to selling my Absolutely favorite? Absolutely not. No, so if you guys are interested in this Integra coach or any Integra, please go to generalrv.com slash Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Tell somebody from my team that you want an Integra coach, and I promise you guys, we will get you the absolute best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Andrea, show us this kitchen. Okay, I'm gonna start over here because this caught my eye is this um, counter session. I don't think it's flush though. Okay. I, see, that's so little. It's like, I don't know. I'm, so, I'm kind of like weirded out by these type of kitchens. Okay. All right, so we have a cabinet above with a shelf. Very nice. Nice window here. Yes. We have these little um, places for like spices and yes. stuff. Yes. Which is cute, like a little hidden storage. Okay. Solid surface countertop, very pretty. Um, you got this, let's see, residential style sink here. Which yes, ma'am. Which is a really big sink. An extension here. Let me get this back over here before I drop it or hurt myself. Right. And then uh, let's see, underneath we have a drawer. Okay. And then another, this is a bigger drawer. Wow. I like the LED lights around the countertop. I feel like that really matters, especially at nighttime. Okay. We've got the cabinets above. 
And this is a what? Urion convection microwave. Yes, ma'am. A two burner induction cooktop. Okay. Urion. Yes. Very nice. Two big drawers. Very good. One more here. Yes, ma'am. And then we've got this um, LG residential refrigerator. Wow. Look at that. Would you look at that? Very nice. And then I believe behind you is the pantry. Yes, ma'am. Okay, nice. I have a shelf in there. Right. That is a good pantry. Right. And look at that nice bag Integra Coach gives you. Yeah, you definitely wouldn't have to grocery shop for a while. No, not in this. <laughs> it's a grocery machine, Andrea. Let's check out this awesome half bath. Look at the nice clock. Art Deco? Maybe. Yes. Okay, we're in the half bathroom here, Andrea. You do have a porcelain toilet. Uh. Andrea, I'm rubbing a little bit, but we are in a half bath and I'm feeling kind of good today. Andrea, this is a prime pooping position. Bing! And Andrea, like these mm. half baths, sometimes they pass, sometimes they fail. Right. It literally depends on the angle. This one's definitely good. Solid surface countertop in this sink area. Wow. Nice storage, storage underneath the sink. Okay. Here's where you can hang like a little towel. Nice mirrored medicine cabinet here. And oh, liquefied. Our brand of black tank chemical, Andrea. Go to primepoopinposition.com. Pick your guys self up a bottle. It is the absolute best in the industry. Coming on down. All right, coming into the master bedroom, we have a pocket door. Yes. Right here. King size bed, it is still on a tilt up, okay. There is storage above. Nice looking headboard, two windows right there. How do you like them? I like them and I appreciate them, especially when you want to open and you get that cross ventilation. Yes. And let's see, we have a little nightstand here with the wireless charger. Wireless charger on this side too. Uh, there's a little bit of storage down here. And then same on the other side. And yes. then what's behind you? Well, first, Andrea, right oh my here, goodness. they kind of have like a little seat action going on here. Oh, yeah, that's padded. Yeah, sure. Right here, we got drawers. Drawers. You know, you can never have enough seats, you Those know? Those are big drawers, too. Yeah. That's what I like to see. Real big and nice. You can fit all your clothes. Andrea needs a super seat just for her, <laughs> just for all her clothes. Nice top right here, Samsung TV. Come on now. Uh oh. Oh, oh there you there go. There you go. With some hidden storage behind there. And knew they must uh, have added this clip right there. And then right over here, Andrea, right here. Ooh. Prep for a stackable washer and nice. dryer. I love that. Yes, ma'am. And then another little drawer right there. Okay. And then Andrea, the master coming on back bathroom here. has a nice pocket door. It's right there. Yes, we have a oh, very look nice at that. 30 by 36 shower. I love it. Plenty of space, plenty of head height, nice glass door. And Matt, I gotta say, that step up is, is a good size. Yeah. Show us what we got going right, on there. So right here, we have some more storage with adjustable shelves. Huge storage. I like that. And then we've got, let's see, two drawers. If you can see that. Yes. And then right here under the sink, oh, very nice storage. Nice and then, size sink. Pretty sink. And then we've got the medicine cabinet. Oh, Andrea, yeah. all new liquefied drop in pods. Wow. Guys, this is coming on Amazon within the next 30 days. So if you love liquefied, but you don't like the liquid format and you want the easy to drop in pods, make sure you guys stick around because within the next 15, 20, 30 days, you will be able to get the liquefied pods available on Amazon very soon. Andrea, think of me when you poop. <laughs> and we will let you guys know when it is on Amazon. Yeah, we will be doing a video announcement. And thank you everybody, guys, we have been killing it in the black tank industry. So thank you everybody for all the support. Andrea, nice pocket door here. And guess what? This is also a prime pooping position. Ding! I would like to mention this one's un undisputed. 
That one literally, I could have gone e either way. This one is a okay. I don't know the last time that we had one with eight peas. Andrea, it's been a little bit of time. And as nice as this is, Andrea, and as great as it is, it's time we give people three things we love about the Accolade XL and three things we just don't like, Andrea. What do we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it first. Okay, the first one's outside. Andrea, dislike number one. We've said it last time. We said it five times ago. We're saying it this time, and we'll say it next time is the carpet and the storage underneath. Here's what I will say. I do love how much underneath storage you have. I am not a huge fan of the carpet. Now here's what I will say. The new Accolade XT has the diamond plate rock guard or the diamond plate in there. So we'll see what uh, Integra Coach does for the 2024. But currently we're on the 23 and I don't like the carpet. That's dislike number one. Andrea, what's dislike number two? Andrea, that's dislike number one. What's dislike number two? Dislike number two for me is going to be the carpet on the slide. I am not a fan of that. It just even, I get they have to do it because of the slide, but I mean, even that carpet just is an eyesore. Okay. So that's my dislike. That's number two. And then Andrea, number three for me, I've been really thinking about it. Like, what can I say for a dislike? Here's what I will say. For a floor plane this size, there yes. really isn't a ton of countertop space. This flip up, as Andrea said, is a little weird. And I don't know what they could have done, but I feel like they could have executed it just a little bit better to give you a little bit more countertop space. I think they should have put the sink back there. Yeah, something, I'm not sure. And I, I will add one more thing. These pillows are a pain in the butt. They're not hooking on the Velcro. Give us uh, some better Velcro. I know that's a little thing. Well, Andrea, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this unit. May I go first? Sure. I do love this big sofa, three big seats. They all recline. I do wish that flipped down, but again, Andre, to have all this directly across from the entertainment center and have the nice cabinetry above, I actually really love that. That is number one. Andrea, what's like number two? Okay, I gotta say, I am in love with the paint job yes. on this RV. Yes. I just think it looks amazing. And I guess because I don't see these that much, it just it's really catching my eye. Andre, not only that, the Accolade XL definitely has the best paint job. Yes. And I'm going to combo that with the awesome bunk over the cab. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It holds 750 pounds. It's fantastic. Andre, that's number two. And then number three, I hate saying it because I always say it, and I sound like a broken record, but that S2 RV chassis. The XL package, the no propane on this coach, that 8K generator. Andrea, the, the nice fiberglass roof. Everything about this motorhome I absolutely love. And the moment I can afford one, I will be buying one myself. So guys, make sure you buy some more liquefied so we can buy an Accolade. Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in getting this Integra coach or any Integra, all you have to do is go to generalrv.com slash mattscast. I've linked it down to the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvrvs.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us any way you can. Our team is here to help people get the absolute best price in America. Andrea, what say you? Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. Integra, they do read the comments, they do watch the video, so please leave your feedback. Um, you guys, don't forget to check out our Liquify. Yes. You can get it on primepoopingposition.com or Amazon. Yes. Uh, thanks for watching. We hope you guys are safe and well. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you, you next time. time.